Hello, I'm Richard Weinberger, the CEO of the Association of Accredited Small Business Consultants, and I would like to speak to you today about common size income statements. So I'm speaking to you as a consultant or a prospective consultant, and this is an area that perhaps you're familiar with, but I'm speaking more if you're not really familiar. Let's talk about how most historical income statements would be set up. Most historical income statements would be set up with Excel or another database spreadsheet program with the years going from the earliest year to the latest year. And this is an excellent way of spreading the numbers because in the very last year, the most current year can be added to the far right hand column. And before you know it, you have a complete historical review of your client's financial statements. Now, of course, the best thing to do is to have three to five years worth of financial statements. Some businesses, of course, will not be in business that long or they might not even have had the financial statements. But once you get started, regardless of the number of years, you can add each year going forward to the right. And of course, then you would have your various expenses going down the left-hand side. This obviously is a very abbreviated income statement. Now, certainly when you set up a historical income statement, it you can certainly view trends immediately. Revenue is going up, 200,000, 400, 550, uh, 800, advertising 1,900. This doesn't give you the entire picture, however, of the true financial trending of a company. And that's what you want to really look at when you're analyzing the financial statements. What is the trend? What kind of anomalies are there? Could be anything out of the ordinary, could be positive or negative. If it's positive, what does the company do to repeat that positive experience? If it is something that has a negative effect on the income statement, what can the company do to eliminate that negative effect? Well, one of the best ways of trending, and that is called making these historical income statements that are set up with dollar amounts into percentages, and that is called a common size income statement. Now, how do we convert the dollars to the percentages? Very simple. We take the dollar amount of the particular account that you are converting, that could be rent, advertising, office supplies, any of the accounts on the income statement, and divide that by the total revenue of the that particular year. Now the total revenue is what we also refer to as the 100% line. So if you're using a, a database a spreadsheet program, you can set up formulas that it will do this automatically. If you're doing it manually, you simply take the dollar amount of the particular account category and divide that by the total revenue. Now let's take a look at the actual historical income statement, common size historical income statement. You'll notice everything is now put into a percentage. And it's a little bit easier now for us to look at some of the trends. We noticed when we looked at the dollar amount that the revenue was going up and cost of goods was going up also. But we really could not determine without some type of calculation if the cost of goods was going up relative to how much the revenue was going up. Well, this way we can actually see now our total cost of goods goes from 47 to 52, huge jump to 61%, and then back down to 56. That is going to tell us that there is something wrong here with the 61. And the question becomes, why did we see this huge jump? Why did it go back down again? Uh, perhaps did, um, did we have some items that were recorded in, um, that should have been recorded this year? but they were recorded in the next year. Uh, did we lose a particularly uh, important vendor? And at the last minute, the business had to go out and find a new vendor. We need to find out, in other words, what caused that big jump. Now, one of the best things that you can do also, depending on your client's business and industry, and that is research on the internet, through various uh, trade associations, what are the industry averages? Because this is also going to give you a feel not only for how your client's business is doing standalone, but also in comparison to industry averages. Now, I put down here two examples that we can really take a look at. And I copied the dollar amount from the historical income statement that we just looked at. Let's take a look at advertising. It went from 1900 to 3450, a big jump to 72, and back down to 67. Well, percentage-wise, the three years that are fairly normal 
are under 1%. And if the industry average is under 1%, then the question becomes again, what caused the big jump up to 1.3%? Again, first of all, we want to make sure that all of the expenses were properly recorded in the correct accounting period. But was there maybe a large advertising campaign during this particular year. If there was a large advertising campaign, how effective was it? Uh, perhaps uh, in the year 12, 31, 09, we just started some advertising. Maybe they were, maybe your business uh, client was given a, a big break on advertising and then, and then rates went up. We wouldn't have any idea until you start asking questions, but that's what the purpose is of preparing common size income statements. And then we can look at wages, when from 35,000 to 75,000, 125,000, well immediately, even without looking at percentages, you would have to say, well, why was that big jump? But then the salaries remain the same. Now, obviously on a true income statement, rarely probably would we see the identical amounts of salaries. But then we can see, well, that was a huge jump from 18% to 22% back down again. Uh, did the owner take out an unusually high salary? Uh, were more employees added during this year to take care of what would we would have thought would be additional sales, which we saw in the dollar amount income statement, sales jumped significantly. But if sales did jump, how come the payroll was still the same. Were additional bonuses perhaps paid this year? Uh, perhaps uh, some of the December payroll was that carried over into January and not recorded correctly. So when you prepare the common size income statements based on percentage, it gives you a great idea to ask questions and visually see the trend of your client's company. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.